sis this is a mask so like where is my spatula at this point you're a whole billionaire like you can afford to give us some spatulas hi everyone welcome back to my channel so before i start this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified when i upload a new video you guys it's like super late it's like i think almost midnight yeah i'm doing this video like super last minute but i really really wanted to get this video out you guys as soon as possible so forgive me for any mess ups so in this video we're going to be reviewing fancy skin's newest product and that's the cookies and clean whipped clay detox face mask with salicylic acid so not too long ago um well kind of long ago <laughs> i reviewed fenty skin's fat water and you guys i had like a breakdown okay okay production team play flashback and when i say production team i mean me why i mean why do you have to put red dye in this like why like what the I mean it's gonna go on Claire. Like all her products have like dyes in it. And I just it's gonna nobody's gonna see it. Like it's not makeup. It, 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 hmm. So I haven't refreshed you guys' memories on that. Um, am I gonna have another breakdown? Stay tuned to find out. So what is this mask? This is a fragrance-free, oh, glory be to God, thank God, she's finally listened. This is a fragrance-free mask that's supposed to be non-drying. It's a whipped clay mask that has charcoal and my favorite, favorite BHA ever, salicylic acid, of course. This just improves your overall skin texture, it improves the look of your pores, and it also controls shine as well. So you know like if you have super oily skin and your skin is just too shiny, this is supposed to control that. This mask has colon, clay, co colon, colon, you know what. This mask has colon clay. I don't know how to pronounce it, you guys, I'm sorry. This just extracts dirt, oil, debris, any impurities, all of that yucky stuff. It just gets rid of that to get your skin nice and clean. This mask also contains charcoal. What that does is it's kind of similar to the clay in that it helps to purify your skin. It absorbs excess oil and again, just gets rid of any impurities. Last but not least, as I mentioned before, this mask also has salicylic acid i think i've talked so much about salicylic acid that you guys are probably like over it at this point but for anyone who hasn't watched any of my videos on bhas and acids in general it's just such a really good ingredient especially if you have oily skin it just helps to unclog and clarify your pores so if your pores are prone to clogging and getting you know all types of gunk stuck in it <laughs> salicylic acid is really really good for that it just really gives your pores like a really good deep cleanse and if you care this mask is also vegan it's gluten free and it's cruelty free as well so all that good stuff so let's talk packaging speaking of the packaging alone in terms of how it looks i actually like uh how this looks um actually i like the packaging across fenty skin products it's very simple there's nothing too like flashy about it however <laughs> sis Vienna. in all of my fenty like product reviews i don't know why i talk like she's actually ever gonna watch my videos like it's so dumb but anyway let's pretend this is a mask so like where is my spatula i mean you guys okay i might be doing too much and i'm sorry if i am i feel like at this price point i expect at least a small spatula to come with my mask like if there's anything i hate you guys when it comes to like skincare and my routine i hate to have to like dip my hands into my skincare products even though i'm obsessive especially when it comes to like hands washing in my skincare routine you guys i could literally wash my hands like 10 11 times i'm just trying to be super careful to not mess up my skin's like protective barrier with any like bacteria or anything that could possibly be on my hands and even though i know that my hands are clean i still like to keep them out of my skincare products so if some type of spatula or tool couldn't be provided um, with this product maybe i don't know a squeeze tube you guys know like toothpaste 
maybe that might have been a better uh vessel <laughs> for this mask but like miss fenty like at this point you're a whole billionaire like you can afford to give us some spatulas please <laughs> oh and another problem that i had with the packaging and before i go into this i just want to say like i'm not nitpicking with fenty skin a lot of skincare products actually i found have this problem when i opened this mask for the first time like you know took it out of my package out of the box um there were like gaps and holes <laughs> in it like someone had used it but i know it's actually not used basically like you guys it wasn't full and i'm sorry but you guys this is another thing that grinds my gears in skincare and honestly just not in skincare just in anything anything that involves products and i don't get it like do you guys pay a fine if you fill up the actual product like <laughs> Is there some sort of like distribution, uh, packaging, production issue if like a product is actually filled up? Like when I pay for stuff, I pay for 100% of the cost. So I don't pay for 75%. So I don't expect to see 75% of my products. Like give me the full thing. It's okay. Now I'm not saying if you get this mask, you're going to get it like half full or three quarters full. That's not what I'm saying. Mine specifically just wasn't full. It looked like someone had used it Okay. I actually really like this mask. I'm not even a huge fan of masks in general because you guys know I've said before that masks to me they're not 100% necessary to have a good skincare routine. I feel like masks are one of those things that it's kind of just a luxury. It's not something that is absolutely needed or is necessary, you know, for your skincare routine. It's one of those like nice to haves, but I really do like this one. It has a whipped, bouncy, lightweight texture that quite honestly, I didn't expect in a clay slash charcoal mask. I've used quite a bit of charcoal clay masks before having oily skin they say it's really good to help like detox and deep cleanse your skin so i've tried quite a few and unfortunately with the masks that i've tried in the past they're kind of thick and goopy and it takes 
quite a bit of effort. I mean, I could be wiping on my skin for what seems like 20 years just to get like the mask off. But this mask, it actually washes off pretty easily. It wasn't like a chore or anything to get it off, which I really do appreciate in a clay mask. It is fragrance free. Like I said, I'm so thankful and grateful. Now I'm really starting to take Fenty skin seriously with this fragrance free mask. I really think that her entire line should actually be fragrance free or at least have a fragrance free option but yeah it's not my company so you know i also like the fact that it didn't break me out as well um i didn't have any strange reactions to it however okay <laughs> if i could nitpick it seems like i love nitpicking you guys and i really don't i think getting into my skincare and stuff i think my standards are just getting higher and higher and higher um just learning things and you know becoming a little bit more experienced in in knowing what my skin likes and doesn't like and just like reading up on things i've just become i guess kind of a little bit harder to impress when it comes to skincare but anyway enough jabbering i didn't like that this mask was just a teeny bit drying just a teensy weensy kind of like that bit drying <laughs> positives though it's a detox mask so it's supposed to give your skin that type of deep cleanse in skincare products that you know claim to detox and deep cleanse your skin is that it tends to strip your skin of its natural oils so if you guys have ever used a clay mask before or like a toner that's like just too harsh you know that feeling of your skin feeling like you know it's out of tension <laughs> it just feels like super tight and uncomfortable it wasn't that bad in this case but um yeah i did feel that stripped feeling just a little bit i'll probably only end up using this mask maybe every other week with the skincare routine that i have i don't think that i need that much of a deep cleanse detox every week or twice a week i think according to the directions you're supposed to use it like once or twice a week i'm not sure but yeah i think that would be too much for my skin at this point um obviously if the weather gets warmer my skin tends to get more oily during the summer i might end up actually using it weekly just to make sure that i'm not like doing too much so for fenty skins cookies and clean mask i'm going to give it hmm, i think i'm gonna give this mask a seven and a half which honestly is actually quite high i mean it's not the greatest product i think i'm ever gonna use in my entire life but it's good it's good and it does what it says on the tin my first impression of fenty skin was really just lackluster and i was quite unimpressed to be really honest but this mask is a really good improvement and a step in the right direction for me with fenty skin i just feel like the packaging needs work and i just wish it wasn't just a tad bit as drying as it is i feel like if you love your clay detoxy deep cleansy masks i see you actually enjoying this one and also if you're looking for something fragrance free if that's a really important thing for you in skincare i think that it's worth giving this a go i feel I feel like this product is a good product for people who have oily skin or are prone to having clogged pores. If you have textured skin and you feel like unclogging your pores is a step in the right direction for that, I think that this is a good step. Now if you are on the drier end of the skin type spectrum, I would say you should be just a little bit careful with this mask. I'm not saying you shouldn't get it. Based on my experience with this mask as someone with oily skin, I just envision someone with with dry skin may be finding this too drying but um honestly that might not be the case for you i didn't find that it was the most hydrating mask that's ever been created but i don't think this mask is marketed at being a super hydrating mask in the first place anyway if you have a good hydrating moisturizer i don't see it as being a problem i think that'll just balance things out anyway that is it you guys i hope you've enjoyed this review thank you guys so much for watching I hope this video was helpful at least a little bit. If it wasn't and you have questions, please, please, please leave a comment. Like I said, I will answer as soon as I can. Everyone supporting my channel, subscribing, leaving comments, liking my videos. It means so much to me, you guys. You have no idea. I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!